Hey guys, it's a very windy day today. Um, so I was sitting on the couch and thinking, wow, it's so windy. I would hate to go bike riding today. Well, now let's actually do that. Let's do an experiment. So I want to experiment with the wind. I've got my road bike and I've got my recumbent bike. And while those are apples and oranges comparison, um, I think it still would be really fun to um, see what the wind does to each and kind of compare and kind of look at that data and uh, analyze it. And hopefully you'll get something out of this. Um, I'm doing this uh, from my car uh, because I'm going to go out there and expect the, the sound quality to be a little weird with all of this wind. It's a very windy day and I'm going to show you a little bit of that in just a second. All right, I'm out of the vehicle now and we're gonna be subject to the wind, but that's the whole idea of this video. So please bear with me on the sound quality if uh, you hear a lot of wind noise in the microphone. So I'm under a lot of tree cover right now. And so that's gonna help protect this dialogue. And I've got my two bikes here. Uh, I've got my recumbent bike. This is a cruise bike. And, um, but yeah, um, we'll see how that does in the wind. It's got, you know, I'm not going like super light. I've got some extra stuff here. I'll have a water bottle on each of the bikes, um, but pretty typical setup there for my recumbent bike. And then secondly, here's the road bike I'm gonna use uh, on this wind test. And uh, that's what I'm gonna be riding with that. Workout resumed. Okay, here we go. I got
really feeling that wind, even though I'm down an arrow. Okay, sorry again for the wind, um, but that is the point, right? Lots of wind and test the bikes. Um, but I wanted to give you my impressions uh, just getting off the bikes here and I'm uh, surrounded by these palms. Uh, so hopefully that will keep the wind noise down. Um, I was probably at about 90% perceived exertion level um, on each of the bikes. Um, you know, there is kind of that thing where I, I, I rode the recumbent first uh, and then the road bike second. So, you know, is it equal? Mm, you know, we can factor that in. I just know that that's a variable. Um, also, um, in terms of the bikes, let's go back over there. And uh, I wanted to point out the differences uh, that I see as um, meaningful. So again, I think uh, the tires, these are 25 uh, width tires. Um, with a PSI, about 85 PSI. Um, this bike is probably five pounds lighter than the recumbent, another major piece. Uh, and then thirdly, I do have these clips. Um, I think these clips are actually very effective. Um, some people say, well, you have to actually clip in with the shoes that, that will clip in speed or speed SL kind of stuff. Um, I think these are quite effective and get really close to that and I just keep these on here for convenience. So know that that's a thing. I do not have uh, any sort of clips on the recumbent and that's again just out of um, convenience where I just hop on and go and have a nice, have a nice ride. Um, this bike again is probably five pounds heavier um, than the road bike and the tires are uh, 32 width tires with a tread. So you can see how the rolling resistance would be a lot more on this bike. Um, and uh, the PSI on these right now are about 65. So those I think are the major differences. And uh, now I'm gonna go back home and uh, crunch the data. All right, now here's uh, the data that I've compiled um, it comes from a uh, Samsung Health app, and uh, what you have here is uh, the recumbent bike is on the left, and then the road bike is on the right. And I've got another page, uh, you know, for the recumbent data and then the road data. So kind of two pages for each bike. <clears throat> um, so just high level, uh, you'll see that there's just very minor variations in the route. So this was leading up into a side trail. Um, and, uh, but you can see that uh, the distance was very close, uh, 2.98 to 2.94. And it was the same stretch of trail. Uh, so paved trail, um, same exact. So uh, again, just a little bit of lead in difference. Um, now let's look at the splits. I, I did almost three miles. Um, so about five kilometers uh, for each, uh, but I do have it set for one mile splits here. Um, so on the recumbent bike, um, when I was going with the wind that first mile, uh, that was an average of 20.1 miles per hour. And that is the red section going out until this dot, that's the one mile mark. And then the second mile would be this where I turned around and then came back to here, and that would be the second mile. And then the the almost a, a third mile uh, would be all the way back to this point. That's how it is. So they yeah, the first mile, uh, 20.1. Um, the road bike actually was 19.2 of a split. So that was pretty interesting. And then this uh, second mile where, you know, I turned around, 
um, that was 17.6. So a little bit into the wind, uh, a little bit going with the wind. 17.8 on the road bike. So pretty interesting. So the road bike was actually was a little faster there. And then the recumbent, 14.6 uh, average uh, miles per hour. And the uh, road bike was 15.6. So the road bike ended up being uh, faster into the wind, um, interestingly enough. Uh, so that was a little bit of surprise to me. So the actual workout duration was uh, 10 minutes, 27 seconds on the recumbent, 10 minutes, 6 seconds on the road bike. And the, uh, let's see, uh, on the recumbent, I reached a max speed of 23.4 miles per hour. And of course, on the road bike, uh, 25.3 miles per hour. So that was not a surprise to, to hit a max speed. So that's, that's, a, that's a peak speed. That's not really a sustained speed. Um, let's see. I mean, uh, just to point out the elevation. Uh, so I was between 46 and uh, 69 feet. Um, so you're wondering what, you know, what the difference is. Uh, one, I had the phone in my pocket. So you know, there's probably some accuracy issues where the recumbent it was right up and uh, right on top of the handlebars on a mount. So I think this was a little more accurate. Um, let's see, the, the graphs here um, probably show similar stories um, to what we just talked about, but the recumbent looks like I had a, had some pretty good speeds uh, to begin with. And then it kind of leveled out. And then I, as I turned around, you can see that it really dropped. And uh, and I think that was accentuated on the road bike. So really high speeds here. Um, and uh, then it really drops off. And so I think the, the road bike, you know, in comparison to going with the wind is uh, is a big difference. And so that's that's probably a key takeaway is when you're going fast, you're going really fast with the wind. And when you're uh, going into the wind, you know, that's you, you feel a lot slower and you are a lot slower in comparison to what you were so whereas i think the recumbent um it, you know is a little bit more even so uh, yeah, i felt faster with the wind obviously uh than uh going against the wind but it wasn't as big of a dramatic change as it was with the road bike all right so yeah hopefully this little uh, comparison on the data was helpful um, yeah, I think it was pretty interesting that uh, the recumbent being a heavier bike with, you know, the tires that it has and and um, and things like that, that, you know, the the average speed was 17.2 compared to 17.5 on the road bike. I think that's pretty interesting. Um, and. Uh, yeah, so again, hopefully you found that interesting. All right, after having looked at the data together, you're probably wondering, what do I think? After having ridden the actual bikes in the actual wind, what are my takeaways? What are my thoughts? So just, you know, in short, I think that the recumbent felt more pleasant overall uh, to ride directly into the wind. I never um, felt the, as much of a push uh, from the front with, with a gust of wind as I did on the road bike. That road bike I felt whenever a gust would come by, um, it, I really felt it. And however, you know, the road bike, um, I felt like, um, and we saw that I got higher top speeds. I felt faster going with the wind. And, I, you know, that's pretty exciting to you know, go that fast and, and you know, go with the wind and you kind of really feel it. So it's kind of neat. Um, so it just depends on what you're looking for. But um, yeah, it was a great experiment and I, I hope you enjoyed it. You know, whether you're um, in the market for a road bike or a recumbent bike, I hope hopefully this was helpful for you uh, before you spent uh, that money um, to kind of see um, this kind of data. And, uh, and here's some thoughts from somebody who owns both and rides both regularly. Um, I, uh, 
you know, if you're just curious, uh, hopefully you found uh, something uh, of value uh, from this video. Um, but uh, until next time, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching.